So it is now morning. We are ready to rock and roll with our mission. Uh, I think like loads of wood, also loads of stone as well. So we've got all that rocking and rolling. Uh, so let's go to the mission board. That's not the mission board. The mission board's just here. Right, priority communication. Nomad exploration. Investigation and address call. And there's a weather event. Brilliant. We're going to start the mission. Hey, Prospector! may resemble Earth. Remember, this is an alien world with many different threats. So far from Earth, you must be careful to follow all guidelines and safety directives. Remember, they're there for your protection. You must be prepared to find or make shelter at short notice, as conditions on the surface can change extremely rapidly. In the event of an accident or equipment failure on the surface, Responsibility for your survival rests with you and your team alone. The UDA hopes your time on Icarus is safe and successful. Prospector, 
This place has only been accessible to approved scientists and faction contractors, till now. But it looks like the UDA are finally opening it up for the rest of us. And they've actually made our lives easier. Especially yours. You see, Group 15 ran a joint op with Cinetai, shifting an old terraforming satellite hub into a geosynchronous orbit. It means you'll be able to get back to the station whenever you'd like. Or move gear and resources from orbit to planet, and vice versa. So now you can stick it out without worrying about your dropship window. The faction higher-ups didn't do it for your sake. But in the end, I guess there's less of a chance you'll kick it. So, that's a plus. First things first. If you want to complete missions for the UDA, you'll need to craft a short-range radio. Plenty of folks need help, and factions pay well for prospectors that offer their time. Up to you. Stay safe. So hello everybody and welcome back. Um, as you can see, we had a crash and we've had to restart. This is Roger 2.0. Roger 2.0, say hello. Now, <laughs> uh, we're now in the swamp. We're making it a little bit harder for us. The UDA have given us a few extra bits to help get started because we were so far into the series. I think I've done about six episodes and then we had a crash, which isn't good. Only three of them were published and I thought I'd push forward the crash to now rather than giving you loads of videos for the wrong series because it's being changed. Uh, so yeah, we are now currently about here. Um, this is where we are. Uh, the UDA have prepared a base for us now as well, which is good. So we're no longer over this area. Uh, we're all the way over here in the swamp biome to make it a little bit harder. But I'm going to get up to level 10 and then we're going to start the daisy mission. So welcome back everybody. Uh, Roger 2.0 is here. We have upgraded the base so we've got quite a lot happening. Also we do have an upstairs as well. Which is just up here. So we're slowly getting stuff done. Uh, we are at level 25, 21 sorry, we were at level 25 when I finished off the last one when all the recordings went completely mucked up. So we're going to run over to the shortwave radio and we are going to do our first mission. Nomad Expedition, investigate a distress call. Let's start the mission. There's the pod. And there's a... what the hell is that? That is one of the dogs. This damn place. Boxes. You can either take it out or sneak past it. Either way, we need that chip. Oh, looks like land wasn't the only thing adapted around here. UDA hasn't been very forthcoming with information, but I've heard rumors. Some of them are locals. Some seem to be altered versions of Earth wildlife. All of them weird and probably dangerous. I wouldn't venture too far out unless you're equipped to defend yourself. All right, you got the stupid thing. Go ahead and plug it into your short range radio to get it online. This is the third version they've worked on and it seems only good for basic errands. So, you'll still have me around for a while. Let's see just how awful it really is. Right, so we've got a chip. The chip here is the prototype UDA communication upgrade. Fantastic. We're gonna place that inside the short array range. Hello, Prospector. Not just. Simplified Mission Prospector Liaison Version 3, Connection Verified. Refer to me as Simple. Bloody stupid robot. My function is to guide you through basic assignments for the UDAA. Communication is one way. Not much of a replacement then, bucket of bolts. Your first mission is to cultivate and harvest one tomato. <laughs> Seriously? This frequency will be reserved for exclusive automated prospector guide use, terminating redundant connections. Hold on! 
What did you call me, you stupid and... Sample quality and composition will be used to calibrate APG for future assignments. You will be provided the applicable hybrid seed from an OES in your vicinity. Samples consisting of incorrect genetic material will be rejected. Please begin. I would begin, but I've got a crocodile on my ass at the moment. One second. I know the tree. Still coming. One second. There we go. Let's get my arrows back from that. Oh, I didn't want to drink. Oh, that's good. I didn't get dysentery. Right, let's take it back all up. We're going to plant our tomato seeds. So let's run back over here. Awesome stuff. Got five seeds, so we'll just plant all five of them for now. So we've got some food. Good start, Prospector. Here, have some praise. Well done. Uh, congratulations. Thanks. I always knew you could do it. Attention, Prospector. A new work order has been received. One of your fellow contractors has been severely injured and returned to orbit for treatment. They have requested help in locating and escorting their pet blueback that was abandoned during extraction. You are advised that once the aforementioned creature has been escorted back to the contractor's encampment, you may make use of any of the supplies left behind. Additionally, the contractor wanted the following message passed to you. Please, please save Daisy. She saved me more times than I can count. It's the least I can do for her. The contractor currently lacks a functional trachea. I did my best to substitute. You may begin. Attention Prospector, your sample has grown to an acceptable maturity and is ready for processing. Please place it in the OES pod for retrieval. So our tomatoes are grown, we're going to have to put them in the OES pod as soon as we harvest them. Now we don't really need tomatoes now, so we're going to put some of them in the fertilizer thing. Oh no, we'll keep them on us in case we're hungry. We just need to put one in the OES pod and then we can complete our daisy mission. We only want one. So keep splitting the stack until we get one. Not sure if this has been brought up before, but we have a new way of doing things now. Cenotai have come up with a fancy new way of shipping your exotic halls off world. They're calling it the Orbital Exchange System, OES. Abandoning all your planet side tech is a thing of the past, if you prefer. Chuck them in the pod and it drops it all off at the station. Pretty cool, huh? It's free for now, while they're still testing the pods. Who knows how much cash they'll rake in from this later. It works in reverse, too. Say you want to order some shiny new gear from the workshop up there? You can get it delivered just by pressing a few buttons. <laughs> what a time to be alive. Right, so we got some... We got an item which was some gold ore. That was for growing a tomato. Fantastic, I guess. Right, we are going to run over to the mission area. The mission area is all the way over here, so we need to go all the way down to K7. Go across, find Daisy, and then take Daisy back to her house at the bottom of J8. So I am going to run all the way to J6, and we're going to do that as a little bit of a time lapse, because we haven't had one of those yet. So we'll see you when we get down there.
here is Daisy. Uh, you'll need to press F to claim ownership and take her back to the house. And as soon as you press F, you're going to have loads of Drax running around following you. So you need to kill them before they kill Daisy. Just like that. So we're going to see you when we're at the house. Come on, Daisy. Now, as you can see, the house in the distance, we are running towards there. Daisy is following us. So, well, that's not Daisy. That's not right. Come on, Daisy. There we go. Daisy is following us, which is amazing. And we get here and get Daisy inside. And we should have Good work, place. Prospector. The injured contractor would be greatly relieved that Daisy made it back home. Had they not died horribly from their wounds before I could inform them of your success. You may gather any supplies left on this property for your own use. Daisy will also need a new home. Please return to your previous objective and place the sample in the OES pod when ready. So we have made it back in one piece. We've gained a few levels. I have also turned the house into Scoria because there was enough Scoria for us. Also, if we look, we have made a stables down here, so we do have a slight extension. Uh, sleeping beds and everything. I do need to move you across. Need you to follow. It doesn't do anything. We can't have a saddle, so I don't understand why we've got it. Um, but we'll move that as far down here as possible. Uh, at least our new friend, our horse over here. Lord Cunningham can actually do what he needs to do, eat and drink and go to sleep. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and enjoy. Oh, also quick before we do finish off, there's a cave here. So in the next episode, we're going to open up this passageway, go into the cave and um, turn the cave into an extra part of our base as well. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and enjoy. Oh, I need to change that one. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.